Tonight, after a family's call for action, the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office just released new video of the moments that led up to an inmate's death. Let's get right to Matt Houston, live outside the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office with the latest. Matt? Cynthia, we've just reviewed about five minutes of video compiled by the Sheriff's Office, the same five minutes that Anthony Johnson, a 31-year-old ex-Marine, his family viewed this afternoon a little earlier today. The first step that you're going to see is a wide angle shot here, a, like security video from inside the jail. It shows what Sheriff Bill Weyburn called a fight between jailers and Johnson. Weyburn says this started during a routine shakedown, a search for contraband at the jail. Weyburn said Johnson did not initially want to come out of his cell, so they tried to restrain him. At that point, Weyburn said the ex-Marine displayed, quote, superhuman strength during that struggle, though he could not yet explain why. The second video is from a supervisor, Lieutenant Joe Garcia's cell phone. He follows Officer Rafael Moreno up the stairs and records Moreno put his knee in Johnson's back to keep the man on the floor. Listen to a bit of that recording. You'll hear Johnson say, I can't breathe. Yeah. Can't breathe. I'm not sure. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. Now that, Sheriff Weyburn says, is the key problem. Johnson was already handcuffed. So the sheriff says Moreno never should have gotten on top of him, but he did for some 90 seconds. Here's the sheriff's breakdown of the uh, failure in protocol. It's okay to put a knee in the back until you get them restrained. Then what you do after that is immediately put them in the recovery position, immediately. And that didn't happen, and that was on Lieutenant Garcia. Now, Weyburn said Garcia, being the supervisor, should have stopped that, but he did not. There was another problem. Garcia told medics waiting downstairs that they should bring that they would bring Johnson to them. Instead, they should have come upstairs to the second floor to help out. The sheriff said he does not know how long it took jailers to get Johnson the medical care that he needed, but acknowledged there was a delay. Jailers found a shank and a razor blade inside Johnson's cell, the sheriff says. Remember, his family says he was experiencing a schizophrenic episode when he was arrested. Both Moreno and Garcia have since been fired for breaking protocol, the sheriff says. The medical examiner has yet to identify how Johnson died. That will be a key finding as this investigation continues. We'll have more on this coming up tonight at 6. In Tarrant County, I'm Matt Houston.